hello folks so in this video we are going to talk about environmental variables sorry environment variables in next JS so if you are new to this video I would suggest you start with watching this playlist from the beginning otherwise if you are if you know what you are doing then just keep watching this video so before jumping into this uh, let's let me show you first what we have done so far so let's start the server first So our server is started. Let's open the next JS site. So on this next JS site, sorry, this is the wrong one. Yeah, this one. Sorry about that guys. So yeah, we created this page and inside this page we are displaying list of blogs from our WordPress site. And this is the WordPress site uh, from where we are fetching this data so now let me open this file called wordpress.js inside lib folder so inside lib in our past video we use this url to fetch data from our site but what if you want to push this to the live site I mean on the production server this is on our um, local server which is we can consider as the development server but when we push to um, production server so this URL needs to be changed so we can't go inside all the files and change the URL that's not the ideal case so in that case we have to use environment variables so what we can do is we can set this URL for different environments for example one site we can consider as the development server so for development environment we can set a site URL and for the production environment we can set the different site so in our case i'm gonna consider this uh, localhost slash wordpress as development environment and uh, localhost slash bb platform as production environment so let's start with the development environment first so what we have to do is we have to create this environment dot local file on the root of your project so this is my project sorry and i'm going to create env dot local and inside the local we will set this url until here so first let's set the URL let's say we say it WP JSON URL equals to this but this two thing this is a namespace and this is the version 2 that might change in the future 
so what we can do is we will get rid of this and we will set the we will set the different um, variable for namespace and version so let's call it WP namespace equal to WP then WP API version equal to v2 now our url is like this uh, wpjson wp v2 so we can so whatever variable we define we can use this like dollar then the variable name like this so this variable value will become this in the same file so i'm gonna create a final base url so i'm gonna say wp base url and first i will put this so slash is already there so i'm gonna direct use this wpns then slash okay let's remove slash from here and put it over here and then api version like this so now we have our wp base url ready so define variable is done use variable using dollar is also done we did this and now it is time to use that variable anywhere in the code so in our case we will open our wordpress.js file and i'm gonna call it base url equals to how to fetch the variable value so we have to use process dot env then variable name and in our case our variable name is wp base url so i'm gonna call it wp base url and let's do console.log over here and let's see if we get the correct url or not so i'm gonna open this okay yeah so we don't need to put this semicolon so that's my mistake over here sorry about that so as you can see it is saying that loaded env from this env dot local and let's try to refresh this page and click on blocks so as you can see we are getting this correct url so now we can put this base url instead of this let's do same for here so it won't change our output but uh, this is the correct way to fetch data using environment variables so let's click on the blocks now and we are getting the data let's click on the single page and we are getting correct data on this page as well that means the 
let's let me remove this sorry so that means that the url we define over here is correct and now so this is the local file but for the development purpose uh, for the development server we have to create this env dot development file so now let me copy this sorry let's copy this and paste it and let's say it env dot development okay let me uh, let me rename this file for a moment I will get back to this file later so now our environment development environment is ready now I'm gonna change the URL of this file so um, yeah in the beginning I told you that let's consider this site as the live server but let's consider this as a development server so i'm gonna change the url to this okay now when you do this we have to stop the server and we have to uh, run this command npn run, run dev so whenever we run this command this is for the development server so whenever we run development server it is going to fetch the environment variable from this file only so if i run this command so as you can see this said loaded env from env development so this is our development site so now our data should change so let's go to front page let's click on blogs so as you can see now the data is coming from this site so this is one thing uh, from for, from the uh, development uh, environment file now let's create production environment file so for that simply just create this name file called env dot production so I'm gonna use the same variables over here let's put the same env production but let's say our production site is localhost slash test so i'm gonna change the url and this time i will keep this env development file now let's uh, terminate the process and one thing we need to make sure that whenever we use production server so first we have to run this command npm run build so let's run this command so it will generate a build let's wait for some time something is wrong let's see what's wrong so it is saying that okay our our uh, url is correct it says require parameter id ok 
okay sorry this was the file i created for the practice so let's remove this and let's run the command again npm run build so as you can see now it is generating a build build is generated our url is also coming correct so once build is generated we have to use this command and pm run start so it says loaded environment from this env.production because we are now running production server so let's open the production server site and now let's click on blogs so there is only one blog here on the test site so we are see seeing that only and now let's click on learn more so it is displaying this so this is the purpose of um, production environment file now uh, if you remember we initially created we initially created environment dot local file so when we use this file then everything will be override to everything we will write in this file will override values from these two files which is production and development so for example so let me get back to that file again dot e n v dot local so so for production we will keep the test dot uh, sorry test site then for development we be platform and for local environment local we will keep wordpress and now even if i do npm run dev so previously when we run this command the environment file called was env development and here also it will display this file but before this file it is saying that loaded environment from the env.local so in this case whatever variable we override in this file will apply for example here wpjson url is from localhost wordpress so it will apply this url only let's confirm so let's refresh this and if we click on this blogs so it is displaying this css in block which is coming from this localhost wordpress ideally it should come from this platform but it is not because we override this into the environment dot local file so this is the purpose of environment local file um, and ideally you should not uh, commit to this environment dot local file you just need to commit environment development and environment production if you open the git ignore file generated by default uh, from the next.js app you can see that these files are added into the git ignore that means whatever dot local file is there we should not commit so so yeah this is how um, environment variables can be used and yeah this is the video guys if you have any doubt or question or feedback or suggestion please write down below in the comment section 
Thanks for watching the video guys.